Hello, everybody. It's Decentralized Dave with presentation this time. Uh, this is not a quarterly presentation. Um, I have done it a month ago, and I will do a quarterly presentation that will be called something like a quarterly crypto markets breakdown. I will do it in this quarter sometime this quarter. However, this one is just an extra, and it's because I see lots of valuable points uh, connected to crypto sentiment. Lots of valuable uh, and interesting stuff out there. So I've collected all of these insights into this presentation, about 12 slides or so, and I'm going to go through it on record right now uh, on this video, which is going to be valuable for all parties included, me and as well as you. Before I start and go through the uh, data that I've collected, so why uh, do I have any right at all to talk about sentiment? So this is my track record here uh, from 2023. Um, all of these videos that you can see on the timeline, all of them you find on uh, on the playlist called FaceTime on my YouTube. Um, and this is, um, uh, as you can see, these arrows that point on the specific time in the market of the price of the Bitcoin. Um, when you see a green, uh, green arrow, that was when I was bullish in the video. When I when you see a red arrow, that's when I was bearish in the video. I have also marked one gray arrow because there I was kind of indecisive. This was a little confusing, uh, confusing maybe three calls. What I essentially also attempted to do was I attempted to uh, also call some kind of quarterly movements in 2023. I continue with the series in 2024, but I didn't put it on timeline like this. However, uh, as you can see from this timeline, uh, many of these calls are actually very good or were very good. The first one to call the like, title Crypto Screaming Buy is better than I would ever dreamt it to be at the time of recording this because I didn't think I was literally uh, at the bottom there. I I was not really thinking that. It's just I was making an argument that these prices are good enough for me to go all in too. But I really literally didn't think I was buying the bottom here. I was a little bit more optimistic that I really uh, we, we have bottomed out. But anyway, um, I've even been actually bearish before some kind of declines. As you can see, I was bearish in February. Then we had the, the momentary March dip. Um, uh, then I was bearish in uh, at, the, at the end of March and we had some consolidation and I was mega bearish. I was ultra bearish in July, in the summer 2023, and I exited market, crypto market fully or almost fully. Uh, now I would have to really uh, investigate to be 100% sure, but I know I exited at least almost fully, if not fully, and I did come back partially in September, but fully in, in October. And that was tremendous success. The, remember, this is just a Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin uh, movement, Bitcoin price, but uh, I was trading altcoins only, uh, the past tense, because now I also am willing to trade Bitcoin. I have learned a lot over the past nine months. Um, um, and uh, the, how... The, the key, the main key by which I was able to have calls like this in 2023 was that I was pretty much counter trading the sentiment. So I believe I have things or two to say about sentiment. I have the right. And I also believe that I do deserve also your time and attention while saying these things. Um, but saying that, I should also add that, of course, I had bad calls and the worst call, arguably, was mid-November when I was already bearish uh, right there. After a pump, we everybody was pretty much already bullish. So from the sentiments perspective, uh, I was right to be bearish there, but I did underestimate the, the, uh, uh, the parabolic, that we were in the middle of the parabolic movement. Anyway. This was just for an illustration that perhaps uh, I might know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about sentiment.
So, uh, situation today, let me start with a crypto indexes. Um, this is the old index that everybody knows and uses. And to the bottom right of the screen, we have the new one, the coin market cap, which is, in my opinion, superior, which is really good. Um, and I, I am willing to lose that. So the indexes did drop. Okay, this is actually a good news, bullish news. When I was doing my quarterly presentation, we were like almost extreme greed here on this index. Today we are neutral, neutral, and we even briefly dipped to fear. However, such a very sudden drop and, and also all of a sudden, sudden coming back up, that is bearish. Because what you want to see, you want to see fearful also on the indexes. You want to see this beautiful 30 fear. You want to see it weeks. You want to see on this chart, you want to see these dots going sideways, making a cluster. Okay, look at this. 2023, uh, September, October. Look at this cluster here. It was neutral to fear cluster here, okay? But people were much more fearful than it shows on this index. I am actually very doubtful how, how much you should be paying attention to this index, but okay, let's do that still. Uh, this index shows it way more accurately. It was actually around 30. It, it shows very clearly that we were in fear. And we were there for weeks. And this index, by the way, didn't even drop to the fear. Not even one day. And, and not only that, it didn't go sideways in the fear. This is what you need. If you really want to say that the indexes are bottoming and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and that now we're bullish and only from here. We can debate about it once we have a cluster in fear. Once we do something like this. We have not done that at all. And also when we dipped it this 30 fear, you had all of these influencers all around the social media exploding. Like, oh my God, like 30 fear that's bottoming. Oh, it's only up from here. Like, do you really think you will have that at the bottom of the correction? <laughs> do you really believe it? Um if you do, you are naive and you will most likely lose. However, um, still, the indexes did go down over the past month. So I myself and also, yes, the 30, when I saw 30, I was also pretty elated. But it, you see, it closed back up into neutral. So, <laughs> um, But uh, uh, still, uh, there is some good news from these indexes. And that's also why uh, I also try to be exposed as well. But I'm going to be talking about my individual exposure soon. So uh, what is a general index when you look around you guys? Like one thing, remember, reading the sentiment is a complex matter. It's not one reading of a sentiment that's going to tell you what's happening. That's naive to think so. Look around you. Look at your friends, family forums, crypto Twitter, you can look at, look at the influencers and their comments and look at, try to read between the lines what the commenters really want to say, what they really believe in. Because of course they can just mess with, with your mind. You can just say something else that they really believe in. So what is the, um, what is the mood around? Like, do you feel that people are fearful right now? Like, do you think, do you really believe it that right now people except for me and few others are not fully exposed to crypto and are not all in already and, and all in meme coins? And, and do you really believe it? Um, when I look around, I have picked for you some of the influencers. And remember, these are the big guys. 127,000 views, 160,000 views, 220,000 views, 344,000 views, 3 million views, you know, all in. I bought 10 million Ether, 
etc., 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 etc. Um, so people are basically buying the dip, I would say. And again, like, do you see that uh, the good bottom is when people like viral guys, this is obviously viral crypto Twitter personalities, when these will be buying the dip? Do you really think that that's where the real um, a bottom or even local bottom is? Um, again, it's up to you to, to make a conclusion, but uh, this is definitely not the attitude that I am looking for. Now, good news. So this presentation, as you can see, I'm not going to be just uh, uh, trashing the uh, influencers and and the personalities, I will not be just trashing them, but also I'm I'm going to um, uh, I'll bring you some good news, and I have some on this slide. So this is bearish channels, bearish um, bearish accounts, and they have somehow woken up. But again, uh, their view count is very 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 underwhelming. Nobody is really looking at the bearish stuff that much. Not really. Um, and also look at, like, for instance, this guy, Crypto Savvy. I saw this tweet today. It's from 2nd of July, the day when I'm recording this video. And and look at look at his comments. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, this dude, ha, 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 ha. get ready for the hated rally, bro. And, you know, I just sold my, and this is basically just um, joking, just kidding. And <laughs> do you feel that there is an approval with the bears today? Like when the bear comes forward, makes a bearish case, do you feel like people are like, yeah, yeah, that's why I'm I'm, I'm not fully all in. That's why I sold some, you know, I'm, I'm now partially only all in. Do you feel that people are like that today? Um, uh, however, these bears, as you can see, they were pretty much not around on my quarterly presentation a month ago. So uh, we were 70 something K there uh, for Bitcoin. So again, this is a good news. Indeed, this is a good news. And I wish more of them would come forward and I wish they would go more. They would have more view counts and they would have bigger approval, widespread approval at, the, at their viewers. Uh, so... <laughs> There is one that is has really a really huge view count. This is from uh, Tony um, Guinea. And I even retweeted him myself because uh, it caught my eye. And the reason why this uh, this particular tweet, he's not that viral, uh, but uh, this one had lots of, lots of views, lots of likes, as you keep up, 0.4K likes. So uh, the reason why he was, uh, this particular tweet was so approved, is his recent track record. I did check him out and he is pretty much spot on over the past months. Like he sold in March, he called, I think, in the May, correctly. I'm not now sure, but he has a very good track record over the past few months. But then I zoomed out and I checked more to the past his track record and I saw him very bearish at the end of January, very bearish at the end, at the start of Feb February and especially very, 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 very bearish in October last year. That's when I made very bullish video and that was one of the most legendary calls that I've ever made. And he was extremely bearish there calling for like the other influencers calling for at that time. He was calling for a 23k Bitcoin or so. So he has right now, he's on a winning streak right now. But further down to the future, to the past, um, no, not at all. But he has definitely lots of credits from me because, and lots of respect because it's hard to be a bear. And especially he, did, he didn't give up on bearishness. I really like that. So uh, liquidation heat maps. This heat map, I'm sure you've seen this heat map all around the internet because so many people, so many influencers have been retweeting it that I am actually like 
like at the moment I, I get a headache when I see somebody and every single time when somebody retweets it or makes a point about it it's like this guy here this crypto rover guy like there is this amount of, of short liquidations piling up you know but he they never say anything about the longs up there they always ever talk about this area here and when you actually really zoom out like i did here for you you will see there is still more long leverage than short up there just the long leverage is very deep down it's at 34 or 35000 and just because people assume that it's not going to happen that it's just too low to happen so so everybody just assumes that that's not going to happen that's just too low so people just ignore it and what happens when people ignore something just because they can't imagine it happening what happens it's up to you to make that conclusion of course but uh i am showing you the bitcoin liquidation heat map in a more full way and at the same time however i do add the point like this crypto rover has that there really is excessive amount of short leverage at 72 73k and the, it is really true the next time we come there we have a high chance to cascading short squeezing squeezing and cascading and we will cascade way higher we will cascade in my opinion over 90,000 not cascade in one day but that is going to cause then something like the October last year uh, like actually it's right here as you can see once we broke through this leverage that was also excessive last year uh, it was about 32,000 that was excessive amount of leverage the, the next time we stopped was like 37,000 so uh, and that was not even a full stop anyway next next slide and this this uh this data and this thing uh about crypto celebrities um that is making me not nervous but uh quite upfront this is making me shit in my pants like every time i see this every time i think about this it's and that's also that's also why I started scaling down the exposure. I'm gonna talk about my exposure at the very end. Celebrities are back to crypto, and they are like at top of their arrogance, or I don't know what, or, or euphoria. They are launching their meme tokens. <laughs> this is it's one thing to say that. Paris Hilton is in Bitcoin or, or came to buy Bitcoin. And one thing to say that celebrities are launching their meme coins. So let that sing in. And the next time you see your favorite shilling guy, just shilling, just because he's shilling for a living. Try to remember what is happening as well with the celebrities. Uh, also, I've, I've shown, uh, I also added this beautiful timeline here. It shows you where the celebrities and, and there you can see the pattern. They always come once we go parabolic. And as you can see, do you see this cluster? This is November, October, November, December 2021, the very, very peak of the last cycle. There seems to be like a biggest cluster of the celebrities piled up or also on this cluster as well. And I've added the biggest, I think, celebrity that came, Paris Hilton. She came in April 2021. So that was basically when we, we were already like 2.4 trillion coin market cap. And you know that 3 trillion was the total peak. So she didn't come uh, way far from the peak. Uh, this is a weak argument, but I really wanted to show it to you. And actually, my line, I have to apologize, but uh, I made a uh, I made a graphical error because I moved this this crappy screenshot and I moved it without my line. 
what I was just showing that uh, sometimes I see people because I still generally just see everybody kind of bullish. I still see that. It, it's actually insane that altcoins went down so, so, so much and people are still bullish. But yes, people are bullish because of Bitcoin and meme coins. I'm going to talk about it very soon. But sometimes I see data that are just straight incorrect, like wrong. I'm not sure if it's, excuse me, if it's intentional or if it's not intentional. But this is a guy who is showing you Bitcoin dominance. And he made some kind of a, a line here. And he shows you like, look, look, like we are just now on the topping. Like we have to go down, you know. But as you can see, he connected some candle closes here. And here he connected some wicks, some wicks, some wick stops. But he didn't connect. He should also connect the, the candle closings here. And if he connected the candle closings here, he would have discovered that the line that he was supposed to draw, we have actually broken above it. And now we are bouncing from it as, as from a support. So if he has he if he had drawn his own line correctly, then his conclusion would have been that the, the Bitcoin dominance is even bullish and that Bitcoin is going to crash altcoins even more. But that was not his bias. So anyway, anyway, this is a weak argument. This is a weak slide. I don't want to spend that much time here. It's really just an add-on. Just I thought something could be interesting. And by no mean, I also, I'm not saying that Bitcoin is going to be crashing the, the, the altcoins more even. I'm not saying that. Uh, I do actually think that this is really going to reverse. Uh, but Bitcoin will remain strong, extremely strong and, and a very good and safe, I think, investment. Um, uh, but uh, the dominance, I think, really, it will reverse. Yeah, I'm I'm approaching the uh, the end of my presentation, guys. And uh, yet again, this is the kind of the reason why I. Uh, um, this is basically what I see all around me, and. And it's just, I, I just find it's just so wrong and so sick, so cancer-like. Uh, I just feel that just that there is something is going to happen to crypto, something really bad. Maybe not just to crypto, maybe to, to all the markets. But long story short, uh, a month ago in my presentation, I was featuring big slide and meme clowns everybody morphed into meme clown it hasn't ended it has not ended at all all of these are recent 24th of june 23rd of june and these are from the end of june when i was taking these samples some of them have a very high view count seventy thousand here one million here holy and again, meme coins, meme coins, meme coins, meme coins, meme coins. Like, and all of these guys, this is different guys, okay? I, I, I never, I didn't put there two of the same guys on the same slide, okay? And this is extra, this is extra slide. Like meme clowns at their worst. Like when you see a girl flushing her boobs, telling you positively about meme coins, and she has 70,000 views and 1.5k likes. When you see this happening, you know, when you see people with like this guy, 73,000 views, when he see, when you see him just saying like, oh, I'm all in meme coins. When you see guy like Murat, who is a very reasonable guy, I find him, I'm following him. He was the, one of the guys who were saying back in May that Bitcoin is not going anywhere. He's just going to go sideways. He was one of those guys who was saying that. And when you see him now tweeting 10 times a day, just shilling his meme coin bags, shilling the bags that he has. 
and using his influence to pump them. When you see these patterns, it's, I don't think it can end well, and it has to end soon. Because the further this goes on, the more, the bigger it's all going to become. Um, let me show another tweet. I call this uh, another slide. This is, I think, the, the, the one before the last. This slide I called conundrum because I find the current situation, all things considered with crypto, I find an alarming fact that you have but two choices. If you want to chase performance, which everybody does, um, you have but two choices. If you are bullish on crypto, you have to be in meme coins. So imagine then what is the con concentration of meme coins in the portfolios of people. Imagine what is the concentration today. Because if crypto goes sideways, meme coins will perform the most. If crypto goes back up, meme coins will very likely perform the most. Like at the moment, there is like two choices. You either have to be in meme coins or you should stay away from crypto if you are bearish. So this is a, this is a really alarming conundrum and uh, alarming reality of today. Just for a record, just for um, uh, um, just to just to tell you that last week we were going down. Bitcoin was uh, uh, fifty eight thousand. The the fear sentiment dropped to twenty and thirty. Excuse me. And Solana meme coins, small Solana meme coins, exactly those, for instance, that Murad has been pumping, trying to pump this popcat. Retardio, you know what other what others, they doubled. So the last week, again, we were kind of just going down and sideways, and these things doubled. Um, my conclusion. So this is my FaceTime videos, um, a playlist, and I'm just reminding you that this is my track record, and you can have a look at what uh, on the last videos. You can have a look. Also, I, I talk about my own exposure there. Conclusion, all things considered. Over the past month, the sentiment really improved. Uh, some bears came forward. Uh, sentiment indexes dropped. But the meme craze sentiment did not, I don't find it improved. Only a little bit, maybe because the bigger Ethereum meme coins like Pepe has not been really uh, performing. So you are kind of forced into the memes today and now the liquidity is being tickled into a smaller meme coins, like now the Solana small meme coins and I don't know, maybe even now the smaller even on the different chains the next week are going to double, triple. And if you... Don't want to be in meme coins today, you are missing out. So you're kind of forced into the memes today. All altcoins except Ethereum and some memes like Pepe, all of the all of the altcoins lost their bull market support band. I'm not featuring it on this presentation, but I'm tracking it very closely. And when something loses bull market support band, it's not going to regain it quickly, not at all. So under normal circumstances, I'd guess we will stay sideways at 2 trillion coin market cap. But if I take into consideration that we have celebrities here, memes are, but this has to be also the end of the meme season because the liquidity is being really tickled from the large memes into smaller, 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 and it's going to reach the end in the 
two weeks, I don't know, something like that. So, um, so uh, when I take into all of these things into consideration, uh, and if I want to retest this meme sentiment, because the meme season should be at the end of the cycle normally. Uh, and also the celebrities doing this should be at the end of the cycle. When I take this into consideration, uh, I can't rule out that we will see some kind of a black swan event or unexpected crash that is going to crash crypto as low as 1.2 trillion coin market cap, which is 30,000 BTC. And this could actually happen, or I would also, my evaluation from the previous presentation was that I do think that some, some kind of a, that it should be strong or some kind of a, some, at least small alt season should play out around the uh, Ethereum spot ETF approval. So there, I, I think that that could still come first, but of course, nothing is set in stone. I hope this was valuable. It was certainly valuable to me. And uh, see you next time.